Welcome Gemini. This is Renee. Welcome back. This is going to be you versus them. Okay. We're going to take a look at your energy and your person, who you're connecting with, their energy. I'm going to have you on this side, them on this side. And now just know that these, these energies can be reversed. So if, you, if it feels like you're resonating more on this side, of course, take it how it resonates, okay? Um, but we're going to go ahead and pull, pull your energies. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what do we have for Gemini and their person? What do we have for Gemini and their person, please? Person on their thoughts, on their minds. Okay, we have quite a few. Okay, we have, okay, we have three here. I'm just going to take these two because I feel like, well, okay. Okay, so we have three here. So I'm going to leave one in the middle. Okay, we have free yourself. Now this is your side, Gemini. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so you may need to free yourself from something, right? And in the middle, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so this person may be different than anyone that you've met in the past, right? We also have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay? So, this may definitely lead into something more permanent, or this could lead to you both traveling, sightseeing, you know, doing, going on some kind of journey with this person, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your energy. I'm going to use the Spellcrafters Tarot for your side, and I'm going to use the Modern Witch for their side. Okay, so let's get your energy for Gemini. What do you need to free yourself from, Gemini? You need to free yourself from some kind of energy. You know, why are you asking this person to keep an open mind? Or why is this person asking you? Because I feel like this is your energy. It can be switched, Gem, but I feel like this is your energy. Okay? Okay. Spirit, give me a message for Gemini. How does Gemini feel about this connection? How does Gemini feel about this person? The Queen of Swords. You're trying to get a better understanding. You're trying to get to know this person. There's some things that you're trying to figure out, right? Some things that you're very curious about. But I feel like you're really trying to get to know this person. What are Gemini's intentions towards this person? What are Gemini's intentions towards this person? Oh, the Hierophant. You're in it to win it. You feel this person on a very spiritual level, Gemini. You really feel this person on a very spiritual level. They've kind of tapped into your thoughts and emotions. And they've like intrigued you. Right? You feel very connected to this person. You feel a, a strong connection. You know, like you can see yourself with this person for a long period of time. Okay, where is this connection going? Give me a message, Spirit. Where is this connection going between Gemini and this person on their mind? Where is this connection going? Oh, confusion. 
You're not sure. You're not sure, Gemini. You're not sure. Maybe you haven't received an offer from this person. This person hasn't really asked you out. But you are catching feelings. You're catching an emotional bond to this person. And you're like stuck between choices. Stuck between the opportunity. Wanting more. The curiosity of it. There's a lot of things left unsaid or undone. And you're caught in the illusion of this connection. Okay, it's like you're daydreaming, Gemini. Hmm. Okay. Now let's take a look at your person. for this person for Gemini how does this person feel about Gemini okay oh they're not sure neither <laughs> they feel kind of conflicted they feel like you're very strong though like you're you have this victory this you know you're going after something like you're very thought provoking right um Hmm. They feel like you're ready to battle. Okay? They they find that very appealing about you. Because they feel like you're very strong. Like you're very strategic, right? What are this person's intentions towards Gemini? What are this person's intentions towards Gemini? Oh, the strength card and the magician. They feel like you're very strong. They feel like you're very capable. You're very courageous. There's a lot of things about you, Gemini, that this person finds very appealing. They feel like they can create. They feel like you're able to create the world, you know, like you're able to manifest strength and power what you want you know they they find you very intriguing like what i said they find you very intriguing they're i don't know let's see let's go a little bit further where is this connection going where do they see the connection going with gemini where do they see this going Where do they see this connection going with Gemini? Oh, the King of Cups. They like you. They definitely like you. Oh, and the Two of Wands. Yes, they like you. <laughs> they really like you, Gemini. They see you as the King of Cups and the Two of Wands. So, as much as you're on their mind, they're on your mind. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about you when you're not together. They kind of like want to be in the same room, right? They're kind of drawn to you. They have this magnetism that's kind of drawing them closer and they may be planning something somewhere you're in their plans Gemini they could be planning something they could be planning to make their move um, there's something that they're planning on doing but they definitely see you 
as the magician. This could be a Leo, you know, this could be another Gemini, this could be a water sign, um, fire sign. But they see you as the King of Cups and the magician, able to create, right? Hmm. Okay, what is Gemini's advice? For this connection what is Gemini's advice for this connection what is Gemini's advice for this connection please okay the page of cups in reverse and the two of swords so making a choice, this person hasn't really put in an offer yet. So it's leaving you kind of confused. You're not really knowing where this is going, but I feel like you have the choice. You have a choice to make rather to maybe make a move yourself or wait on this person to kind of bring you this offer. Okay. Are you going to wait on this person to bring you this offer or are you going to take action? Okay, are you going to wait or are you going to move ahead? Are you going to leave this behind? Right? So, you know, there's choices that you need to make in this, in this connection, Gemini. Are you going to wait? Are you not moving ahead? Or are you following your dreams? Following what exactly it is that you want? Okay? Because I feel like you, yeah, you see yourself as very strong as well. So you have the confidence to do what you want to do. I feel like you may be communicating with this person. And look at this, two of cups. Okay, so Gemini, yeah, you have some choices to make. You have some choices to make. Are you going to wait on this person's offer? Or are you going to put in an offer yourself? Right? So let's get advice on this person. How can you get closer to this person? How is this connection going to be bonded? Right? Because we have the honeymoon there. So it definitely has potential. It definitely has potential, Gemini. Okay? I feel like if you look at that, there's a boat there in this honeymoon card. There's a boat there. So you want to move in this person's direction. You definitely want to. You know, whether you choose to do it or not is definitely up to you. So what is the advice for Gemini where this person is concerned? <clears throat> the Justice card. The Temperance and the Seven of Wands. Okay, I get it. And we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. Okay, so here's your advice, Gemini. Look at all these major arcanas. This person is very good. This person is coming through as someone who wants to do the right thing. Right? This person is very patient and very wise. They're not going to make any bold moves until they're very sure about the situation. Okay. This is someone who's been around the block a few times who may maybe has been in a long term relationship or maybe it's someone who just knows exactly what they want. Right. But I feel like this person is very wise and they're patient and they're going to stand up for what they believe in. Okay, and what they believe in is you. So this person is going to be moving in your direction, Gemini. Okay, they are going to be taking advantage of an offer to get to know you better. Okay, and I feel like they will take action, but they're going to take action in their own time. 
Okay, they're going at their own pace. They're, they're not going to be rushed. They're not going to be rushed in, rushed in this situation. But know, Gemini, that they value you as a person. They see you as kind of like a turning point, like a tipping of the scale, like they've kind of won the lottery. They've, you know, hit that jackpot. They view you as, you know, being on a pedestal. They see you as someone maybe even above the their own means. Okay? They see you as someone of very high standard. So they're going to take their time. They may come around to impress you, you know, but I feel like they're definitely going to take their time in this situation. They're not rushing things. They're like, you know, it's going to happen if it was meant to happen and not until then. But I feel like this person feels like there's some things that they need to work on before they can go forward with you. They feel like they may not be up to your standard. So they may feel like you're a little bit higher than they are, right? Hmm, very interesting. Let's go ahead and get some messages for this person. And I'm only gonna choose them I'm not going to choose any messages for you because I feel like you already know how you feel. You know what you want to say, right? So I'm just going to choose them. So we have so many things remind me of you. Okay, so this could be someone that you are seeing from a distance or maybe someone that you work with, someone that you may not have um contact with on a regular basis but i feel like they think about you a lot they think about you gemini okay and we have just being near you is intoxicating see they're intrigued they feel very uplifted being around you you know they feel very happy and um, ignited, like passionate, you know? We have, I hid who I really am from you. So I feel like this person is going to show you who they are, but they're going to show you who, who they are kind of like on levels. Like, okay, I gave you this information today. Maybe tomorrow I'll give you a little bit more information and the next day a little bit more, and the next day a little bit more. Like they're, they're constantly building on the information that they're giving you, but they're giving it to you slowly, like in levels, right? But I feel like this person wants to be an open book, but they don't want to overwhelm you with all the information, right? Give me more messages for this person. Give me more messages for this person. Okay, I can't stop thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind, Gemini. Yes, they can't stop thinking about you. We have, I bury myself in work to forget about you. It could definitely be someone that you work with. Or it could be someone who's hiding their emotions through work. Right? And one more. I wonder if you're happy without me. So this could definitely be someone that you don't have any that you don't have contact with at the moment. Or like I said, I'm I'm really getting that you don't see this person on a daily basis. It's not someone that you're really in a real relationship with at the moment. This is someone who's coming into your life. Right? This is someone new. Um, but they want to know if, if you miss them, if you feel the same way about them, if how, how their feeling is unique or if you're feeling the same way, right? So we're going to get some handmade messages. Let's see 
We need to know, know more. Okay, we need more messages for Gemini. What's going on with this person? Where is this connection going? Give me a message. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. Tell me what's being left unsaid. Tell me what's being left unsaid, please. Tell me about this person, Spirit. Oh, yes. All right. I think about you even when we're apart. We have pay attention to red flags. We have the answer is yes. Wow, soulmate. I'm tired of being apart and I'm happiest with you. Okay. Wow. Wow, Gemini. What I'm concerned about is pay attention to the red flags. What does this mean? What does pay attention to the red flags mean? What does pay attention to the red flags mean? I need to tell you the truth. Okay, someone needs to tell the truth here. Someone needs to say something that's being left unsaid. And we have released judgment of yourself and others. So what is being left unsaid? What is being left unsaid, Spirit? Going through changes, releasing judgment. There may be a change in the family structure for this person. And they may be currently going through healing. I'm not willing to change. Huh. There may be something about this person. They may be set in their ways. Okay. Um, be open-minded. Yeah, I'm not willing to change again. Definitely, it may be something to do with change. <clears throat> I feel like with this person, they may have been single for a while. Though, so I, I feel like there's some things about this person that they really like their solitude. They really like their privacy, right? Connect with your soul tribe. Be open-minded again. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and get a timeline. When is this connection going to move forward? Spirit, give me a message for this connection. When is this connection moving forward for Gemini and their person? When is this connection moving forward, please? Okay, before the holidays. Wow, okay. We have, <clears throat> close your eyes, feel what you want, approximately three months. Okay, and before the holidays. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, Gemini. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at your angel number. See what we have for Gemini. I'm starting to lose my voice now, so it's time to close this reading. <clears throat> what do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Okay. Oh, 11, 11 angel numbers. I'm liking this. Intuition. Trust in yourself, Gemini. Your inner whisper is working hard to let you know that it is guiding you. Listen in. What is it saying? Feel it. What is it telling you? Where is it telling you to go next? See it. Close your eyes and allow. Trust the path that you're on. Okay? Your affirmation. 
My intuition speaks to me and I listen. I trust that all things are happening for a purpose, right? Very interesting. Yeah, your, your intuition is going to help you through this situation. But you have to trust in the path that you're on. Okay, Gemini? Trust that the universe is leading you in the right direction. And the path that you're on is the destined path that you were meant to be on. Okay? So, Gemini, if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements if you know those, right? And until your next reading, my beautiful, lovely Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light.